Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, I want to go over standing up in your kayak. If you are capable of standing up in your kayak, it can be a huge game changer when you're out on the water because when you're stuck in a seated position, you're very low to the water, you can't see much of what is out there. Um, say if you're looking for structure that is underneath the water, such as grass flats and potholes or oyster bars or anything like that. And also just looking for fish in general. It is a lot easier to do when you are standing up just because you have a higher vantage point. Now, first things first, most uh, fishing kayaks are pretty wide. However, the wider the kayak is, the more stable it's gonna be for standing up in. Now, if you have really good balance, you can probably get away with standing up in a more narrow kayak, but it's not gonna be very comfortable or effective fishing if it is uh, windy or if you have a lot of waves going on because that can throw off your balance and you really just wanna focus on fishing and not trying to keep your balance while you're doing so. So the wider kayaks, such as this one I have here, this is an Ocean Kayak Prowler Big Game 2. It is a nice and wide kayak. It's about 34 inches wide. And any kayak that's over about 30 inches wide is typically a lot more stable to stand up in. Now, kayaks that are specifically suited to stand up in will have some features that will allow you to stand up a lot more easily. First, they will have a more elevated seat. As you can see, this seat here actually has two positions. You can go from a low seated position for paddling and then a higher seated position just by uh, pushing the seat up and putting it in that higher position. Also, the seat is capable of folding back, as you can see here. It folds back, then I have all this room behind me to actually stand up. Now, another thing that kayaks that are more suited for standing up in will have is a stand assist strap. What this does is, since you are sitting pretty low to the uh, bottom of the kayak, most people can't just get up from a seated position like so. So this standing up assist strap will actually help you stand yourself up. So the first thing you want to do is pull your, pull your butt closer to your legs or your heels, lean forward, and then just simply pull yourself up. Now the same would go for when you come back down because it is a low uh, seated position. So if you're standing up, your strap is down here, lean down carefully, pick up your strap, and then just lean back, slowly sit down, so you can sit down nice and easily. Now, you, remember, you don't wanna come crashing down because that can spook fish. Again, you don't wanna make too much noise. So a definite plus, if this isn't attached to your kayak, it's very simple to add your own. Um, you can simply just take a strap like so, or you can take a rope and tie it to the front of your kayak. That way you have something to pull yourself up and bring yourself back down. Now, another key tip when you are trying to stand up in your kayak is your foot placement. You want your feet as close to the seat as possible, if not as close to the center of the kayak as possible. Now, when I say the center, I don't mean bring your feet really close together. Your feet need to be out to the sides, almost pressed up against the sides of the kayak like so. That way you have more control of the stability of the kayak because you can push down on either side. Just remember to always keep your head centered over your kayak, whether you're sitting down or standing up, because that will keep you from tipping your kayak. As long as your head is centered over the kayak, you should be good to go. That way you can compensate by kind of leaning, using your shoulders, as long as you keep your head over the center of the kayak. Now practice is the biggest key in actually getting better at standing up in your kayak and effectively fishing from your kayak. Now when you practice, don't do it on a day where you are loaded down with gear and you're just out there fishing and decide, hey, I wanna start trying to stand up in my kayak because there's a high likelihood that you will end up in, your, in the water along with all your gear that you have with you. So definitely take your kayak out to either a local lake or a swimming pool where you can use your kayak in the pool and um, just practice. Don't bring anything with you. Bring your paddle, of course, because you will need that. And dress to swim in case you do fall in the water. Also make sure it's not too cold outside or the water's not too cold, just so it's a little more comfortable. So the first thing you definitely want to practice is actually standing up and getting back down. Don't focus too much on actually fishing from your kayak yet or trying to paddle. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you can get up effectively, stand comfortably and nice and balanced, and sit yourself back down nice and comfortably. That way you get a good idea of how stable your kayak is and whether or not you can actually fish from it when standing up. Once you become comfortable with getting yourself up into a standing position and also lowering yourself back down to a seated position, then you wanna actually learn how to paddle standing up. After that, 
you can start learning how to effectively fish from your kayak from a standing position. So if you have any questions on how to stand up from your kayak or how to choose a proper kayak that is more suited for standing up in, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Also be sure to check out the Salt Strong website. There is now a kayak course available that I created that will help you consistently catch inshore fish from your kayak. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live salt strong and wear the line today